Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I'm going to take y'all shopping in Tokyo. I just came back from Paris a few days ago. So I haven't been uh, shopping in Tokyo ever since I left for Paris, right? So that's around three weeks ago. And um, I'm just more than excited right now to get back with my friends and back to our weekly shopping routine in Shibuya and Harajuku. What I'm wearing is a uh, Somar jacket that I received from Owen. Some Detroit cut jeans from Ray Cohen's Dark Shadow. The hem looks kind of weird because I released them right before I headed out today. I used a nail clipper and a blade, so that's as good as it gets when you <laughs> use something that's not professional to release a hem. And for the boots, I went with the Tornado boots, which is one of my classics. I think you can't really go wrong with those. And yeah, without further ado, let's begin today's journey. That's leather. Like we don't usually see Comedy Garçon using leather too much, right? Okay, it's way too small for me. Uh -huh. The design's amazing, but then look at the sleeves. Well, my, my whole wrist will be out if I'm not wearing like a long sleeve underneath this. Like what I really like about this is this detail that you were like playing with earlier. Like it kind of buckles up. It's kind of like the corset kind of buckles. Mm -hmm. You just see this on the bra. It's way too small for me. I think the shoulders are like going to explode if I move. But yeah. It looks like a vest on a regular Comme des Garçons blazer. Mm -hmm. The fabric also. Like this is, I think this is poly, but this is classic Comme des Garçons. So like if you see these out there, I feel like this is developed by Comme des Garçons themselves. So it's utilized on most of your blazers. It gives off like this unique classic trademark Comte de Garçon blazer look. Wow, how about the ball? It's a little bit too big. Comte de Garçon black? Oh, why is it? You want her? That's a game I'm kind of, to be honest. You know, only if they don't have the spots on the back. Yeah, back to our topic. These are the times where I just wish that I was born female biologically so that I can fit in these clothes. Look at these. This is wise, kind of like a overcoat. It's only 300 USD. Jeez. This is a very cute top from Juno Watanabe. I like how like it's kind of it kind of looks like a shrinked in like a bad way, but then this is a great look. Kind of looks vintage, but then it have like a twist of designer-ish designs. The color is also not bad. The stars, the embroidery, the color. Martin Margiela. Oh, line zero. That's the artisanal line. Also, this is probably handmade. That means amazing piece. So guys, I'm trying on this top from Craig Green. It's from five, six years ago, according to the staff working over here. It's basically put together with these buckles only. These are not sewed together. You can take all of these off if you want to. So it gives you like a lot of freedom in terms of how you want to wear this piece. That's from Rick Owens. It's awesome. It is. Yeah, that's from Ricoins. Look at what we have over here. <laughs> yeah, this is a sure thing. Yeah, this is a charger. So I think I think I think you can connect. Look, so like this is what generates the solar power. The things on the side too. You connect these portable chargers to like the solar pads, and then like you can charge your phone with the portable charger afterwards. Yeah, so like you wear these and you go out in the sun, and then you can charge your phone. Stop. Genius. I really don't like this, huh? <laughs> it looks pretty cool. So guys, I'm trying. Yeah. Mm. Well, it's vintage. It's not that expensive. It's too old. It's too old. Yeah. Uh, man, I like this. Oh, you can say it's worth it. It's worth it. So guys, this is this Nicole distress sweater that they all hate, but I love. Look at this. 
，虽然是比较搭。That's a hundred bucks。虽然是比较搭。Yeah. God, these are some suspender pants. The material on this looks so nice. It's like a really heavy and stiff cotton vintage suspender pants. For only two hundred, right? Around two fifty. Yeah, these are amazing. God, I don't want to steal these from you. These are so nice. Yeah. Guys, we're at the store called Bingo. Uh, that is where I got my bottle cap necklace from. The one from Margiela. I got it from right over here. They usually have great deal on... Uh, most of their pieces and the store is large so they stock everything much like kindle but like on a bigger scale i like how they label stuff they say like domestic brand one ldk brand they say punk brand and they say artisanal brand so it's really organized sakai color hike toga they really know how to categorize these stuff and it's really easy to shop here because they, they gather like the similar brands and put them together so here I, we see this Comfy Garçon en Plus, 93 Autumn Winter, Bleached Blasson. This is my all-time grail, but this is just way too expensive. This is way over 1K USD. It's really rare, I understand. Just can't really justify paying over 1K for this. And, but other than that, like the prices are usually fair. Everything over here is Comme des Garçons. This is also Comme des Garçons. That is Comme des Garçons. Guys, so this is a little Yoji corner we have over here. Also, they have like Ground Y, Y3, and the main line Yoji. They have ladies too. So guys, if you're a Yoji lover, and if you know that you're ever going to visit Japan, you need to come over here. They have everything. They have a corner of Mason slash Martin Margiela stuff. 5 zip, they have 2 of those And these are some Martin Margiela blazer from 95 artisanal line These are super rare Over here they have the IS bomber and the sweater I used to own like a similar one This is the care tag one, I think it's more expensive Mine just says IS And then I, I think I used to have this too Now it has become a lot more expensive than what it used to be But then, I feel like nowadays Honestly, like not a lot of people are wearing these anymore. I think it's probably the hype has kind of died off. And I really do like the design, so I'll probably consider wearing them again. I've been trying on these boots from Carpe Diem. Recently, I feel like for this whole year, I've been wearing so many and buying so many CCP. I just really want to try out other artisanal brands. Like the other day, I was trying on the boots from MA Cross and you know, just trying to explore more stuff and not put myself in a box, if you know what I mean. Yeah. These actually look really, really nice. And mm -hmm. what I really like about Carpe Diem boots or like footwear in general is that they have this little twist on like um, their laces. So when you tie them up, it's really cute. And by the way, like the hem of these jeans I was talking about earlier today, like uh, before I was heading out, I actually released them myself. So then I used like a nail clipper and a blade and I just cut it open. So it's like a released hand. It's pretty cool. Like I didn't have time to cut like these threads off. So it's kind of messy right now. But then after I do that, it's going to look pretty good. So guys, if you want like a tutorial on how to release the hem from your jeans, I can make one. I feel like you can really wear these both ways. Like they don't look too bad when you, you know, like stack your jeans, put on like the boots. But then like they also look pretty good when you cover it up. Personally, I probably prefer covering them up. Yeah, that's a good look. That's a good look over here. We're at the next store now. It's called Kindle. They're basically a chain secondhand store where they stock all the brands, I guess, ranging from luxury to streetwear to designer brands to also some Rick Collins. These are really desirable when I was younger. Oh, this, these are actually really cool. These go for around 450. So 
Some Ramones by Dark Shadow. Some damage on the outsole. These are pretty cool. I don't see these too often. Because I found this easy season one tank top with the ripped open collar from here. This brings back a lot of memories. So let me throw this on. If you know, you know it's easy season one. This is what made fashion fashion today. <laughs> Mm. How do I even wear this? <laughs> Look at how big the collar is. See, it has season one, that, yeah, that, that destroy sweater, right? Destroy oh, yeah, sweater, yeah. Those are so really nice. Right? I bought like a vintage one, and then I was thinking about distressing it themselves, but then like spring came and it's way too warm for that. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Look at that. That paper. Really <笑>我看看有哪个是吗 他们这个是好像他以前Creeper Boots的版型就是这样 然后我以前有一双是侧拉链 然后有一双是旋转这个好像是一三的 yeah, Alright guys, so we just finished dinner It's a really tiring day, we filmed a lot of stuff I got something too This is the Craig top that I showed you earlier in the store And yeah, I don't have a lot of battery left on my phone So I'm just trying to finish this as fast as possible if you like this video please press the like subscribe and all that share it around we'll be doing more vlogs in tokyo it was really tiring but it was really fun so i guess that's it for today thanks for watching bye